Hi and welcome. This is part two in the Work Faster in After Effects tutorial series. Okay, today I'll be showing you a script which is pretty amazing. The first time I used it, it was like it blew my mind. Uh, it's called After Effects Shader Effector. Uh, you can get it at ascripts.com. It's forty dollars, so it's pretty expensive, but I can guarantee you it's worth every penny. Uh, ever since I use it it changed the way i use after effects because i use it so much and it's just another way of uh, using black and white information to trigger animations all right uh what i'll be showing you is how to make this so it's basically a wall of lights and it is triggered by let me show you basically this Pretty cool. So let's get started. Uh, first, I'll have to make a animation of a light bulb, which is going on and off. So I make a new composition, make it a hundred pixels by a hundred pixels. Okay, very important naming. So I'll be naming this asset underscore bulb. Hit enter. Uh, okay, so uh, control Y to make a new solid, make it white, uh, fit comp size is okay, hit okay. Then double click the ellipse tool, which makes a perfect mask in the solid in the form of a circle. Then uh, let's see, yeah, maybe a bit smaller, so go to mask expansion and go in the negative let me just disable the adaptive resolution okay so much better uh, let's say yeah this should do it then uh, control D to duplicate the solids disable the first one make this even smaller so this is going to be the light bulb which is actually going to light up and then the solid above will be the mask to mask off the glow. Uh, I'll just show you. Tap T for opacity, make a keyframe at 100%. Drag it all the way to the end. And then put this one to zero. So the light goes on. All right, pretty simple. It's like this. Then go to layer and make a new adjustment layer. Like this. Go to effects. Stylize, or stylize, stylize, glow. Alright, and we'll be stacking these glows to uh, simulate a light going on. So the first glow should be really small, like a glow radius of maybe 5. Then click the effect, Control D for duplicate. Make this one a bit better, so maybe 15. Nah, less, 10. Then Control D to duplicate again. 20, Control T to duplicate again, 30, Control D to duplicate again, uh, maybe this time, 50. All right, then uh, make the top layer visible again, put the blending mode to stencil Luma, and now we should have the animation of a light bulb going on. Now I see that the because of the glow, the light is pretty on at like it's fully lit at second two. And then we have like 12 seconds of nothing. Well, first off, let me just select these keyframes and then go into the graph editor. Tap the opacity, select the keyframes, then hit F9 to ease in, ease, in, ease out. Now the first ease is pretty good, but the last one should be uh, exponential, but in the opposite way, so like this. Now the glow should be more even. Uh, the animation is pretty, pretty jittery, but I guess like once the it won't matter. Whew. What did I just do? 
I docked the wrong window. All right, so uh, go back to the keyframes. Now, make a new composition. Let's make it HD, so 1920 by 1080. 30 frames. Let's call this one render underscore uh, lights. Okay, so in this composition, we'll be placing the light bulbs. So like this, let's go all the way to the end. So we can see the actual light bulb and place it in the corner. Then in my previous tutorial, I uh, explained you the free script called array. Uh, I'll be using this to make a grid of uh, light bulbs. So uh, yeah, it's still from the doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, for the width, so in the x axis, we'll have uh, 18 clones, 100 pixels create. All right. Select all layers by hitting Control A, and then we want an additional nine clones of all these layers in the y-axis, also 100 pixels apart, create. And we should have a nice grid. Yeah. Shift and then the down arrow to place them 10 pixels lower. Okay, so now we've got a grid and we want to control the grid by black and white information. So what we're we gonna do is make a new composition. Call this one uh, shader circles. Uh, 12 seconds, hit OK. Then make a new solid, make it white, make it square. So 1080 by 1080. Hit OK. Then again, double tap the circle tool, which makes a perfect circle. Uh, the first mask put on a feather of about 50. Yeah, 50 should do. Uh, make the mask expansion negative because we can see the borders of our solid, so a little less. Then select the mask, tap Control D to duplicate the mask. Put the mode to subtract, so the mask subtracts from the other mask, and then make it more negative, like this, and then amplify the mask feather, so we have more feather. I'm using the feather because because uh, of the the shader looks at black and white information, so when it's fully white, the uh, layer will be fully lit. When it's 50% gray, the layer will be at uh, second six and when it's black it will be at second zero so it will be uh, out all right so now for the animation of the circles tap as for scale put a keyframe at zero then at second two scale it out like uh, something like this and then maybe fade them out because the animation so uh, tap T for opacity make a keyframe and then fade it out uh, control shift D to split the layer hit delete to delete then uh, we want this animation to uh, loop so uh, we've got 12 seconds we're going to offset each layer one second so we'll need 13 layers so control D 30 times 30 layers 13 layers uh, control A, keyframe assistant, sequence layers, uh, overlap of one second, uh, then offset these one second to the front, and now it should loop perfectly. So if I hit home for the beginning frame and then end for the end frame, a perfect loop. Tap numpad zero for a RAM preview looking good all right now for the magic import the shader composition into the render composition and watch the magic so uh the after effect shader pretty basic so a uh, quick explanation select the oh wait 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 very important uh if i tap this logo we'll see the alpha information 
uh, because we're going to use black and white information it's important that we have a black background make it comp size all the way down much better all right now for the magic i can just disable this layer but select it go to uh, after effect shader refactor hit this logo for the selected layer to become the layer to sample from voila uh, we want the luma to be the trigger we want uh, the lowest value so the black value should be zero uh, seconds the high value should be 12 seconds because our animation is 12 seconds uh, the property to manipulate should be time and then we can hit play oh my fault select the layers you want to uh, affect the expression or the, the script then hit play it's going to render et voila all right let me just zoom out and deselect hit number zero for a preview magic perfect all right a little more explanation on the after effects script so uh now we've used the time to uh, the time as a uh, perimeter which you want to be affected by the black and white information but just as well you can use position rotation scale opacity or any selected uh, aspect of a layer which can be keyframed to be affected by the black and white information so for example if you would choose uh, opacity the opacity of the selected layers would be affected by the black and white information of the shader layer so in short uh, the lights would just be black when uh, be black when there's black and be white when uh, the shader layer is white so the opacity will be 100% uh, for the rotation it could be uh, when the shader layer is white the selected layer will be rotating you can choose whatever value uh, 90 degrees 180 degrees whatever you want okay now for the last part i'll just show you how to uh, pimp this image a bit well uh, so i'm going to make a new adjustment layer like this uh, maybe at yeah color vibrance which is a free plugin from video copilot uh, it's basically a uh, use saturation tritone it just colorizes the uh, white information or other information to a specific color so uh, let's make it the typical orangey red color of bulbs maybe add some other glow to it uh, softer glow so uh, 50 glow radius and then the glow thresholds warmer color so 80 yeah maybe duplicate it once more and then make it let's go crazy 250 voila looks nice all right let's play this All right, that was it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to visit my Facebook page. Give me a like if you want updates on new tutorials. Bye.